So you need the new scripting rendering pipeline if you want to follow this tutorial and Unity 2018. So make sure that you have everything in place and the lightweight renderer installed. If you don't know how to install it or how to upgrade your project, I put you a link in the upper right corner in the info card to a video where I explain everything you need to know to set up your project with a scriptable rendering pipeline. So what's the shader? The shader defines the color of the pixel that the graphic unit or the graphic card is showing on your screen. So on the bo bottom we have the same um, model over and over again but with different shaders. Shaders are basically scripts and scripts can have parameters. So a material in comparison contains data, for example red, the color red. So this red is then passed to the shader and the shader knows okay I have to draw a red circle or a red object. So if you use uh, this as a concept, uh, this is the result, it looks pretty ugly. So if you are writing a cool shader, then uh, this is the result and this looks way more 3D because it respects light and so on. So now you know what a material is, it just contains data and is for the parameters of the shader. The shader itself is a script and then you have the output. Okay, let's take the sphere and make it a cool looking sphere. So we create um, one material, these are our parameters. Just go to create shader and use a PBR graph. PBR is physically based rendering and it's the coolest shit right now. So we create this. And now we can say, okay, this material should use the shader graphs new shader graph because this is our shader graph right here. Um, there are no parameters because we haven't set up our shader yet. So we just double click it and see the PBR master. This is the output of the shader and here we have our graphs, new shader graph. This is the input and here in between here can be code but we will generate rate this code by just a graph. So we add a parameter for example a color and we call it color and then we can drag and drop it. So, and now it's a property. And we can drag the color and drop it on the albedo. And there we go. Our material changed. Let's take the default color and set it to red. And here we have our red object. That's all we need to do. We save the asset, go back to our scene. And here we see our material has a new parameter called color. We can drag and drop the color on our ball and see, okay, now it's completely working. It's fine. We can change the color because this is one of the parameters. So if you want to add new nodes, you just uh, can hit the spacebar and type everything that you want. For example, a time. And we can use the time um, to pass it to some functions. So uh, if you just need a normal uh, value, then we choose a vector one. And we can, for example, add this vector one here, or maybe we cut it out here, just call this vector speed. Default is one, just drag and drop the speed here. Um, use something like a multiply node. You can multiply two values, for example, the time and the speed. And you can use uh, a sign just to have some cool effects. And then you see uh, it's always blending between black and white. I think the white is a one and black is zero. Um, and this is exactly what a sign should do. Um, maybe we use this as an alpha set the surface to transparent and then we have a cool effect like blending on and off some objects. Um, the sine goes between one and minus one. This is not optimal here so uh, it's um, always negative here. Maybe we can use something like an absolute value. Uh, just pass it here and here. Maybe this looks a little bit better. Okay, 
Let's increase the speed. Okay, there we have it. Our first cool shader. Um, we save this. Go back to our scene. Just set the speed to five. And there we go, our shader. Now, is doing something, for example, um, just rendering the object or just uh, have a complete transparent object. I would really re recommend you the shader graph example library. This example library is uh, from a Unity um, employee and he has made, I guess there are 10 different shaders and you can download the example project and have a look at them. If you are interested in one of them, just um, click on the object, uh, check the material um, and there you can see everything you can do. For example, here uh, it's something like a face in and out. And if you want to know uh, how they did that, you just can have a look at the shader they're using. It's mesh renderer face in and out. So just um, search for this in and out and there you have it just double click it wait a moment for the window to load and there you see uh, how they did it for example if i have the split value here um, just change it from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 and it will update in the preview um, we can just have a short glimpse for example uh, the split value is here um, they created a step with an edge uh, and an in value. And here you can see it's changing depending on the value. For example, 0 0.8, 0 0.1. And they reuse it here, uh, invert the color. So white goes up and then they use it as an alpha clip threshold. So uh, this is used as an alpha here and it's just transparent. So use this um, over and over again. Maybe the split value um, is used in the smooth step. Um, one minus, then they use the multiply with the edge color. You can say, okay, I like the red edge color. Maybe we can change it, change it so that you can see uh, what it does. So this is multiply with this uh, value here. And now we have this edge color then it's added with the texture and used as an emission and here you see the blue line and um, the albedo and the normals come from the texture and the texture is just uh, a mixture uh, of the albedo the normal the emission and the metallic value you can set in the material and here it's the PBR texture example and everything goes in. You have four outputs and connect them properly to your PBR master and then you're done. You created this shader. So uh, I would recommend you to go through all of the shaders. Uh, if you're interesting, interested in more videos on shaders and uh, which nodes uh, are in Unity, which nodes uh, can be used for what, um, then leave a comment, leave a like and see you then.